Hello, people of St. Paul's and all others who stop by to listen. How are things going for you this week? I'm loving the long days, especially when the sun is out. I really enjoy working in my backyard doing gardening. I hope you're finding some things that bring you joy at this time. When it comes to the pandemic, I have some mixed thoughts. Are we getting too comfortable with this virus and not taking the necessary precautions anymore? I went to get some groceries on Monday and many are not social distancing anymore. The particular store I went to didn't even have those arrows about which aisle you go up and which aisle you go down. Somewhere I read something like this. We may be getting tired of the virus and the necessary precautions, but the virus isn't getting tired. I also understand and welcome some of the relaxed measures in phase two, but I still have a great deal of respect for the virus and the people who are trying to keep us safe. I hope and pray that all of you remain safe and COVID-19 free. While we're talking about COVID, thank you so much to all of you who have already filled out the survey that was sent out by email and regular mail. Please be sure to read it and fill it out. We'd like as many responses as possible. So now I would invite you to light your candle. Despite my thoughts, mixed up as they are on COVID these days, this psalm that I'm going to read reminds me of who my focus is, where my trust needs to ultimately lie, and that I am loved forever. I hope it feeds you as it fed me. I'm reading from Psalm 89, verses 1 to 4 and 15 to 18. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness, for I am persuaded that your steadfast love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one, I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. Happy are the people who know the festive, sorry. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O oh Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness, for you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly, our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. What rings true for you today in this passage? Are there words of comfort, words of hope? Are there challenging words? Let us pray. O oh Lord, you hold the whole world in your hands. Heal all who are ill, people, places, plants, and animals. Be with all who live in fear of any kind. Be with all who are experiencing anxiety, depression, 
addiction, or any ill health. Help them know that you are their strength. Bless those who are working toward a vaccine for COVID-19. Give them wisdom and insight and hope. Be with all of the people we love and those we don't, because you don't discriminate. Help us to be able to love everyone someday soon. In your holy name we pray. Amen.